Let us begin by explaining the shape of the halo, why it is a circle and why it appears around the sun or the moon or one of the other stars. The explanation being in all these cases is the same. Sight is reflected in this way when air and vapor are condensed into a cloud and the condensed matter is uniform and consists of small parts. Hence, in itself, it is a sign of rain, but if it fades away, of fine weather, if it is broken up, of wind. For if it does not fade away and is not broken up, but is allowed to attain its normal state, it is naturally a sign of rain, since it shows that a process of condensation is proceeding which must, when it is carried to an end, result in rain. For the same reason, these halos are the darkest. It is a sign of wind when it is broken up, because its breaking up is due to a wind which exists there but has not reached us. This view finds support in the fact that the wind blows from the quarter in which the main division appears in the halo. Its fading away is a sign of fine weather, because if the air is not yet in a state to get the better of the heat it contains and proceed to condense into water, this shows that the moist vapor has not yet separated from the dry and fire-like exhalation, and this is the cause of fine weather. So much for the atmospheric conditions under which the reflection takes place. The reflection is from the mist that forms around the sun or the moon, and that is why the halo is not seen opposite the sun like rainbow, like the rainbow. Since the reflection takes place in the same way from every point, the result is necessarily a circle or a segment of a circle. For if the lines start from the same point and end at the same point and are equal, the points where they form an angle will always lie on a circle. Let A, G, B and A, Z, B and A, D, B be lines, each of which goes from the point A to the point B and forms an angle. Let the lines AG, AZ, AD be equal, and those at B, GB, ZB, DB equal to. Draw the line AEB, then the triangles are equal, for their base AEB is equal. Draw perpendiculars to AEB from the angles, GE from G, ZE from Z, D, E from D. Then these perpendiculars are equal, being in equal triangles, and they are all in one plane, being all at right angles to AEB and meeting at a single point E. So if you draw the line, it will be a circle in E its center. Now B is the sun, A the eye, and the circumference passing through the points G, Z, D, the cloud, from which the line of sight is reflected to the sun. The mirrors must be thought of as contiguous, each of them is too small to be visible, but their contiguity makes the whole made up of them all to seem one. The bright band is the sun, which is seen as a circle, appearing successively in each of the mirrors as a point in the visible sense. The band of cloud next to it is black, its color being intensified by contrast with the brightness of the halo. The halo is formed rather near the earth because that is calmer, for where there is wind it is clear that no halo can maintain its position. Halos are common around the moon because the greater heat of the sun dissolves the condensations of the air more rapidly. Halos are formed around stars for the same reasons, but they are not prognostic in the same way because the condensation they imply is so insignificant as to be barren.